I just want to share a few more things that we see as far as numbers sure. go, um, because I think it might help kind of uh, spark some ideas on how we can put a new spin on our content. And then when I say spin, I don't mean that in a sleazy way. I mean, just reframing our content so that it's helpful and relevant today. So um, over the past two weeks, searches for home organization have gone up 43%. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> because people are looking around and realizing that their house is a mess. Um, not that I would do that. Uh, spa day at home, 19%. Makeup tutorial for beginners, 180%. Wow. Kid-friendly recipes, 64%. Now, um, it hasn't been that long, but I am guessing that at home hair color and hair removal is probably going to be huge. At home stuff is going to be a huge, period. <laughs> You know, yes, so yes, DIY is going to be massive. Um, searches for things like calming quotes and stress relief, uh, well, yeah, have doubled. Well, no, calming quotes has doubled, stress relief and stress quotes. The searches for those have tripled in two weeks. Mm. Whew, so, That's how can stuff. you yeah. serve that? Yeah, it's a lot. Um, so thinking about like what what will be trending, like we have this initial shock. So we're seeing increases, huge increases in sales for things like electronics um, and home office furniture as people are setting up at home, but that kind of stuff is gonna fade. So what what are some of the possible ongoing trends that we can take advantage of? And, and I've got some here and you can you know tell me what you think too. Um, I think budgeting is gonna be an ongoing concern it's oh, like yeah. starting now, but I think we'll keep going. Cutting costs, taxes, because the filing deadline is extended. So your like your window for tax information is now much bigger. Right. Um, affordable anything, DIY, uh, and I think recipes are going to continue. Like pantry recipes, easy recipes, freezer recipes will continue to to trend. 